Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the French Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. Alright, so I'm really hoping that we'll get Germany knocked out of a conflict in this episode. That's the plan. I don't know, guys. Looking at like how close they are to, to uh, surrendering, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get. I was thinking about it. we need both of these and Munich, and even then, I don't even know if that'll be enough, guys. I don't know what they changed in this patch, but man, you've got to like, it's getting ridiculous, guys. you got to like conquer the entire country now in order to get the win at this point, in order to uh, kick them out of the fight. It just seems uh, a little bit too long, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to go ahead and increase the purple army's front uh, over here so we can pull the uh, blue army back a bit. So get them uh, going that way. They continue to attack the Maginot, which is super stupid. Uh, but we'll let them do it. Uh, and we're about to get the win here. Let's go and send another division over that way. See if we can't get it done a little bit sooner. Uh, we're currently defending here. Oh, what if we attacked with one of these divisions here just to like... Hey, see if we can't lock them down long enough. Finish up that defense and allow us to attack over here quicker. There we go. Alright, so we should have that. And I believe this cuts these guys off oh, yeah. now. Uh, yes, sir. All right, so let's go ahead and, and launch the attack here. Uh, go ahead and get all these guys attacking over this way. And with these ones, we'll figure out where uh, they need, they're they they're going to be needed the most. Probably right there, I'm thinking. And then let's go ahead and attack this way then. All right, so we got these guys cut off. This is a total of 10 German. Yeah, they're all German divisions that are now cut off and prepared to be destroyed. Uh, oops, we're playing here. I wanted to get these guys attacking over this way. Uh, so let's go and do that now, and uh, attack just all these uh, provinces here. I'm trying to send a lot of troops over here. Alright, so these guys will go over this way and attack. Currently defending there, so not able to attack uh, just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt an attack here to lock those guys down, while these guys here will then attack into Nuremberg, and we'll see how that ends up going. And they'll be able to support, once these guys finish up this defense, we can support these two attacks here. We did, uh, what are we doing? This guy needs to come over this way. Let's pull back here, man. Alright, excellent. Uh, so, they continue to attack us up along this line, and man, we're just having so much difficulty getting that, getting the win there, getting that done. Uh, defending here. And I don't know if we're going to win here. We support again. Now, we're not winning there, so let's just pull this back for right now, I suppose. And we'll have to launch the attack again once we get a bit more troops uh, to get it done. Uh, same thing here. Might have to pull this back. Again, I'm trying to lock them down so we can get into Nuremberg. These guys are attacking us as well, so that's causing some problems. Uh, and what if we sent one of these fast divisions over this way? Can we attack here? No, probably not. Alright, so we... Damn. We lost there. Let's just have this guy stay here. Alright, bring him over this way. Okay. Yeah, I think we're not able to win there, unfortunately. Well, we can win here, though. So let's go and do that. The win there, and then we'll uh, support with these guys right here. And then, yeah, we just have to wait here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Nuremberg either. Okay, so just going to have to wait and stay on the defense. And uh, try and get this attack here done, which does look like it's going to be successful. Uh, and this one looks like it should be successful as well. All right, beautiful. All right, so we got another division coming over this way. These guys have been wiped out. This is going to allow the Purple Army to come over here and help uh, garrison all this area for us. Uh, excuse me. Uh, protect this whole front for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and have... Uh, oops. Oh, did I just delete their front? Oh, I did. Damn it. All right, my bad, guys. All right, so we're going to take them and have them go over this way. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to delete the offensive line there. All right, so... Nowhere to really attack up here, though. We could probably win sure. right there. Let's see if we can't get the win. Uh, we'll support with these guys. Yeah, I might be able to take that province there. All right, they're pretty weak up along the Maginot because they keep on sending those attacks into high-level forts. Pretty foolish on their part. Uh, let's just stop that attack. That's clearly not going to work. Uh, we do have a dockyard, uh, so let's go and get it assigned. Uh, maybe get a... Uh, just get them all out and sign to the destroyers. I just want to get this done so we don't have to... Hopefully we can avoid coming in here uh, too much this episode. So we can just focus on the attack. Um, we already have a lot going in the support equipment. I know that we're running low on a lot of this stuff here. Like Anti-air we're starting to run low on. So I'm just going to get all these assigned so we don't have to come in here and mess with this too much. Like we could always do more. And, uh, yeah, and I think we're running low on these as well. Alright, so that looks good. This should keep them busy for a while, so I don't have to pop in here as we take uh, factories from 
the Germans. And I'm also building a ton of military factories while I did that off camera so that we'd get those started. I built you on. Alright, so let's go attack them this way. Send more divisions over here. This Bye. is clearly. Alright, uh, we got the infantry anti tank twos. So let's go ahead and go after the night vision. Alright, so yeah, these. None of these attacks are working here very well, unfortunately. I built you on. Alright, um. We'll stop this attack. Maybe we'll try and attack over here again. Uh, we'll just get our planning bonus up and all that kind of good stuff. I uh, should be able to get the win here. Send these guys in, see if any of these can get here first, and maybe cut those guys off. We'll see if that ends up working. Uh, so we're sending another division over this way. Maybe we'll attack over there now. Ah, damn it. Lost more war support, guys. We were above 50% for a small amount of time there. Alright, um, just looking if there's anything else I can do up along this front here. Not just yet. Alright, let's let's attempt. Let's attempt this attack here now. Oops, I didn't mean to pull back that division. Alright, so we are getting wins across here. Excellent. Just barely holding on in Dresden, man. This is it's been rough trying to trying to hold on to this territory. It looks like we lost right. there as well. Okay. So yeah, just having a lot of problems, guys. Lots of problems. Uh, but as we pull the Blue Army back, hopefully that should uh, let them cover over there a little bit easier. Uh, so we were able to get here with both of these divisions. Indeed. Excellent. I didn't know if we were going to be able to do that. Alright, uh, so we have more troops going over this way. Let's go ahead and attack him. And clearly... Oh, well, we, we can actually... Yeah, this is going to fail. Let's just stop that attack. I wonder if we can win here, though. I'm trying to select these guys, just can't get them to, to stop. Stop your attack, man. Alright, instead we'll have uh, these guys attack over this way. Alright, excellent. So, we are about to lose here. Um, but we're getting more more troops over there. Uh, but I don't know if they'll get there in time. We are winning that defense, and that's what's important. Uh, what we could do is like send this guy to kind of help out there. Alright, now yeah, they just continue to attack those high-level forts. Uh, which is... Probably very costly for them. I'm gonna try this attack here and see if we can't get a little win here. Push them back there. And yeah, this is just continuing to fail these damn attacks, man. Uh, again, I'm just like so surprised at how well they have been able to put this fight up. Uh, now, given they are Germany, they are really powerful, uh, as you'd expect them to be. We talked about that last episode. And we do have the difficulty modifier put up for the AI, so they've been put up two points, so that gives them a lot as well, so that helps them. Uh, France is also quite weak, I've noticed, in the new expansion. Uh, I feel like France is a lot weaker than they I were before, you. actually, which typically you get your own focus tree and you end up getting more powerful. That's what usually happens. Uh, here in Hearts of Iron 4, but that has not been the case with France. I feel like France is actually probably a little bit weaker, at least initially. Like, they can get more powerful than they ever were able to before, but they're actually probably a bit weaker overall. Uh, and these Red Army troops are probably going to try and pull this back here. Let's just go and stretch this around here, make sure that we don't. Oh, well, they might not be able to. Yeah, I don't know if they can they can do that. We'll have to see. All right, so trying to get these guys cut off here. If we get the win here, then it's only a matter of one province here to cut them off. Or we could take that one there. Uh, but currently, we have to get more uh, Red Army troops down here. All right, and it looks like they're... The Communists are losing here. Oops. Yeah, because these are the Communists here. Yeah, it does look like, because, you know, Colombia is in the Japanese faction, West Pacific Treaty Organization. And so it's probably mostly the Japanese that are helping out here, but pushing pushing the Mexicans back, and as well as all the the other Central American countries there. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, so one thing that somebody uh, put forward is that maybe we should attempt to uh, get non-aggression packs with our neighbors and uh, for the communists just temporarily. So because it would be kind of disastrous if they you know if they attacked us or whatever. And they've been asking us for non-aggression packs for some time, and I've been saying no, and and I guess they're right. It doesn't really make sense for me to keep saying no when I mean it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can always cancel them, so it's not like I, I can't go to war with them uh, just because we did a non-aggression pact. And so yeah, somebody had said that in in the comments, and they're right. I probably should uh, get those non-aggression packs. It would be nice to feel like our borders are secure, you know. So I agree. I agree. Alright, we should be able to get the attack there. Yeah, as soon as I get a damn attack going, then they, they attack me. 
Let's see if we can't... Okay, so we did get there. Alright, about time, man. That took us fucking forever. Uh, let's go and attack it this way now. Alright, so we now have that uh, province. Uh, we have one here as well, but we're going to have to attack over this way to stop them from uh, going to get another division over there. Kills in me. Let's see if we can't win here and try and get a win there, although it doesn't look like that's going to be a win. Okay. Yeah, so far just a lot of difficulty on these attacks, guys. Alright, uh, still don't got Nur still don't have a Nuremberg in our hands yet. Let's go ahead and try and attack there and see if it works. Alright, so we can now pull the blue army back a bit. Again, I'm just trying to get them out of here. Kinda help us out over here. Uh, where you can see we continue to lose lose territory, guys. And maybe we could attack here. Lock those guys down at least for a little bit. I don't know. Right, looks like it worked. Alright, so we're bringing those two divisions over there. And what is the thing we have? Oh, just uh, this recruit in the German Empire thing again. All right, so let's go ahead and say we're not interested in seeing that. Okay. I almost want to get a goddamn national focus because it's taking so long to get this, this done, man. I mean, I guess we're getting our political power up. Uh, but, yeah, we don't have the war support up now. So we might need to go ahead and take that decision again. Uh, take one of these decisions to do the uh, war propaganda, because, yeah, it's it's now below. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it again. We'll do war, pro war propaganda against Austria Hungary. Just trying to get up to 50% so that when we do have the political power, which we're getting faster now because we're not doing a national focus, so that when we do get it, we can go ahead and get, uh, uh, go ahead and change over to, to war economy, which would help out quite a bit, guys, especially with all the damn military factories we're currently building. All right, so let's move these guys over here. And yeah, we, I feel like we're missing an opportunity to, to hurry up and get these guys destroyed. Bobby. They're about to get out of here, but I'm trying to do this attack here and see if they can help out. Still doing the attack this way. Let's go and send these guys over here. Help out. And in fact, we can pull this back now. Alright, looking good. Uh, so we are still winning there. Uh, let's go and send these guys send these guys over to here. Uh, winning right there. And let's, let's go ahead and take these guys and have them attack that way so we don't lose there. Maybe we'll even be able to get Ulm into our hands. Nuremberg attack still not working. So just gonna have to pull it back again. All right, we are entering into June now, and we did lose territory here again. Good fucking night, man. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so let's move this guy over here so that's not wide open. If we get the win here, which I don't know if we'll be able to or not, we'll try. All right, so this is where we're trying to get that win, guys. And I'm gonna move this light tank division because it's nice and quick. So let's see if we can't get there without having to fight anybody. We might, in fact, have to bring a division over here. I don't want to fight this guy, but it looks like we're going to get there before him. Never. Oh, no, we won't. Hmm. When's this guy get over here? One hour. Okay, so he'll go straight over there and attack him to lock him down, at least temporarily. And these guys here are not going to succeed, so just pull that back. All right, so we did win here. Let's go ahead and actually push forward this way now. And uh, try and get these guys wrapped up. All right, so purple army is going to be getting smaller. Uh, their front, I should say, is going to get smaller. Once we wrap that up, and that'll help us out quite a bit. And again, they're attacking us here, so they just won't leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. All right, so we're getting the, the win there, and these guys are now cut off. Excellent. All right, uh, so let's go and attack over this way. Uh, and we'll continue that attack there. Oh, well, let's cross the river. We will not continue that attack there. We'll just attack this way instead. Alright, so let's go and push forward into home. Uh, get the win here as well. And yeah, should. We gotta get some good victories here. And yeah, we're about to lose there. Let's go ahead and stretch the purple army out a bit more. Eventually, I want them all the way up here so the blue army can focus entirely on uh, pushing forward this way because I think we might have to do it, guys. I think we're going to have to push forward over here in order to get the uh, the Germans capitulated. I'm actually surprised. It's just uh, ridiculous how much you have to conquer their territory now. It didn't used to be that way. Uh, but yeah, ever since uh, a patch at the Soviet Union's that same way, they take fucking forever to defeat now. All right, so let's go and try and get these guys wiped out. And looks like there is a possible victory there to be had. Let's just go ahead and pull these. This this is not going to work, so pull that back. 
that's not gonna work either. So pull that back too. And let's go ahead and give the green army a bit more of a front here so they can kind of help us out. And then the red army will likely focus on, you know what? Yeah, we'll go and bring them all the way down here. And of course, they still gotta get this finished up. Uh, still a lot of tanks here to be had. Finished. Uh, let's go and send more troops over to here. Bye. All right, excellent. So we'll start heading on over that way. Could go and attack across the river here. I think we will, just to get this done a little bit quicker. Just trying to get this wrapped up, guys. Alright. Looking good. So the green army doesn't have... I don't think they have a line right now. Let's just go and delete uh, that red one as well. And then let's give these guys a... Oh, I they actually do have one. They have one here. Okay, we'll give them another one. And then the uh, purple army here, uh, they have one. Uh, red army does not. All right, excellent. So this is a ton of German divisions that are cut off and about to be destroyed. So that's going to be super helpful. Uh, let's take a look at the air here. Um, we still don't control the skies here. That's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, even with um, yeah, we still can't do it, guys. That's that's crazy, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these guys and move them forward I think into this air base right here I help their efficiency a little bit probably not though all right all these guys have really low organization attempt to attack into Nuremberg again uh, losing there still did not get the win here god damn it <laughs> let's try again guys let's try again send them off that way try and get that province uh, that we lost earlier uh, about to lose here. Uh, let's go and send another division over there. Uh, we're also getting the purple army come over here and help us out. Uh, this is just about wrapped up. Let's just get it finished up, guys. It is just about done. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, just go make sure all these guys. Oops. Make sure all these uh, red army divisions come on over here. Take uh, one of them, and then we'll just take all the purple army guys and then start making their way on over here. All right. Excellent. Oh, there's actually a fight here. I was not expecting there to be fight there. <laughs> yeah, but there are... I think there's divisions that were here. And I don't know why these guys aren't moving. It looks like probably supply issues. They're concerned that we have a supply shortage here. And we did lose there. Damn it. Alright. About to get Nuremberg, though. But again, I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, just based on how things are looking here. I think we're going to have to advance into, you know, East Prussia. I think there's any way around it, guys. Send this guy over to here. Some of these divisions are pretty cruddy. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is probably just going to take all of these ones here now and get them come on over to this front, just in case. And I don't see any reason to have all these guys over here. All right, so just about wrap that up. And then uh, that'll free up the red divisions to move on over here so we can start pushing forward towards Munich because we don't have Munich yet. So we'll, we'll take a look at how we how close we are to getting them capitulated once we get Munich into our hands. Uh, but as of right now, I don't see any reason to, to rush it. It's going to go over this way. And still, not able to get Nuremberg. Okay. I think if we send... Yeah, let's just wait. Let's wait until our divisions get up on the front here. Got a wide uh, front line to to defend here. So it's going to take a little while for all these troops to get over here. Uh, let's attempt an attack there. That should be a win. And uh, go ahead and attempt the attack there as well. That is not a win. Just let them go that way first, then. That'll reduce the uh, front by one province, make it a little easier for us to defend. Uh, and let's go and attack over this way, and I think we should be able to get the win now in Nuremberg. Uh, I know that we've said that before in the past, and it has not been the case. This time I feel confident that we'll get Nuremberg. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Uh, bringing more Purple Army divisions up over here. All right, and the Green Army's going to help us out there, so what we can do is go ahead and bring the Purple Army back a bit. Alright, so let's go and attack over this way now. And just barely got the win there. Alright, let's go and attack over this way now. Alright, then attack right here as well. Just keep them locked down at the very least. Alright, so we have one all along here. Looking good. Uh, might build a win there. Um, they're bringing another division over here though, so we'll have to see if we can get the win or not. 
And if we send these guys into support, maybe. Oh, now they're attacking us here, so we'll have to focus on defense. All right, uh, so yeah, it seems like often launching an attack ends up hurting us more. All right, so we'll see if we can get there. It looks like we should have Nuremberg. Uh, we can now go ahead and get over here. What we need to do is attack them to lock them down. All right, looking pretty good, guys. All right, getting the win there. And not really seeing, we might be able to advance right. here. Perhaps, yeah, we'll attack over that way as well because that looks like that should be an easy victory. Uh, and let's wait till we finish up the defense. I'm gonna just try and get around these guys if we can. Uh, these guys are here now. Let's go and attack over this way. This is a loss, let's go and stop it. Uh, that, that was for, uh, just for the purpose of uh, uh, helping out with the defense there, or locking them down, that's what we're doing. A lot of these guys have really, really low organization, so we might need to wait a little bit before we do any further attacks here. Get these guys up on this front. And uh, get their organization back up, and get planning bonuses, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so let's bring the Red Army back now. We're gonna try and cut them off right here. Uh, we're very, very close to Munich, and we'll just have to see. And we're just gonna take all the non-aggression packs, guys. I did, I want to say they took that province from us. I want to say we had that. We did get this back though, so that's good. Uh, continuing to uh, just pull the blue army back so that they can cover up there and that that territory more. I think we're gonna have to attack over that way, guys. I don't think there's gonna be any way around it. I feel like we're gonna have to attack that away. Uh, and I think it's this guy here that's causing the problems there. All right, so Munich is uh, within our grasp. Uh, so let's go and attack over that way. I know attacking to the city with uh, motorized and tanks probably isn't the best, but that's what we got here, so that's what we'll use. All right, so that is not a, not a success, uh, but, oh, wait a minute, it was. Uh, but yeah, then they started attacking us here. All right, so I don't think that these guys are attacking across a river, so we could attack that way. And then let's have the green army, I don't know what these guys are doing, let's have them go all the way over this way. All right, excellent. Trying to help us out here. All right, so if we get the win there, uh, then we would, in fact, cut off the troops. Uh, but I think these guys are all pretty weak, actually, that are actually attacking up that way. Let me see if I send these two. Oh, let's try again. All right, so we'll attack with them and them. And then maybe have them support that attack. Yeah, the uh, purple army needs to extend their front a bit. Yeah, we'll come up over here. All right, excellent. All right, so just trying to get this finished up, guys. We'll have Munich, so we'll see if that's enough. I don't think it's gonna be, honestly. Uh, hey, man, we're still like losing on attacks or sure. defenses. Excuse me. Yeah, just so surprised. Let's tank over this way. Maybe might get it. Be able to get a win there. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't look like it though. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a win. Uh, we'll attack over that way. That should be. Yeah, but they keep on just uh, launching these attacks and having a lot of success despite everything. Uh, this will not be a win, but remember we were just trying to help them out here, which they still aren't. Uh, it's just still not enough. Let's go and send that attack in there. It looks like we should be able to get that victory right there. All right, so I'm trying to cut these guys off. Um, we'd have to get the win here, so we got to finish up in Munich. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys and have them attack Munich next. Uh, also, we could win down here. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, that's clearly not going to work. So let's just stop whatever these guys are doing. All right. So yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't successful there. Uh, looks like we should be able to take that province successfully though. Bring another division over to help them out. And let's go ahead and actually bring the Red Army back. Since I'm gonna cut them off right here. Or try to anyway, we'd have to win one of these provinces here. Maybe both of them actually. Yeah, I think we need to win both of those. All right, so Munich is now ours. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and have, these guys are gonna go that way. Actually, this guy will go this way. I'm gonna take one of these tank units and send them over there. With some green army assistance. All right, let me take that tank and send him over there. All right, 
Excellent, so should be able to get a win there, and then we're just going to try and get these guys here destroyed, uh, which, again, the, the problem here is the lack of uh, organization for these divisions. And we did win there, but now we lost. Oops. Bring these guys over here and have them stay here. Maybe, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and get a division over there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this guy here could go over here. Alright, uh, so getting the win there. And yeah, still just having a lot of difficulty up on this this uh, frontier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these with the exception of one, send them on over there to assist us. And it looks like we did just lose Stetton. Good God, man! Yeah, we're still having problems up along this front. They're able to have uh, success despite everything. Uh, it's just uh, it's really surprising to me, honestly. Uh, so these guys did lose, so they're retreating now. We'll wait till they retreat and then we'll attack, and uh, hopefully get whatever divisions are there cut off from supply. Uh, and Red Army Troop uh, Army uh, needs a new front. Alright, so we're going to give them that so they can get that planning bonus going. Alright. So about halfway through the episode, guys, and uh, still haven't got them defeated just yet. Alright, so we're going to actually attack them right there so that we can uh, support with these guys here. Try to make sure we get the win there. Alright, defending here. Uh, let's go ahead and send an attack in this way. I want to get all of the German territory here taken because all that is necessary uh, to getting them to capitulate. I mean, it all helps, I should say, uh, to getting them capitulated. Alright, so let's send the attack in here and then support this. Currently defending there, so I won't be able to assist at all there. I don't want to attack across the river here, I prefer not to. Uh, but you know what? If it's an easy win, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Because, well. We, do, we can attack from this way, too. I didn't think about that fact. Let's go ahead and have these guys support here. Alright, looking good. Uh, not having success here. So what if we supported with these guys? That would be successful. Alright, excellent. So should we be able to get the win there. Uh, don't look like we're going to hold on to this province here, does it? Looks like we are going to lose there. Uh, just barely holding on to Dresden. And we lost Stet. Attention. All right, man. Fucking Germans, man. <laughs> Let's take a look at our our colonies, make sure we're not... Uh... Oh, shit, look at this. They came up behind us, right? Yeah, they came up behind us. Uh, so we're currently, like, cut off from supply. Shit, how'd that even happen? I wasn't paying attention to here. I think that's exactly how that ended up happening. All right, so we need to have these guys come over here and liberate them. Uh, and they might be able to attack over there. I don't know. We'll see. Now, they will be able to attack as long as they're currently defending, so we have to finish up the defense. So, this guy needs to take the railroads over here. Damn, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. And now we've got, like, a serious issue over here. They must have did, like, a naval invasion or something. Alright, uh, so we should probably take care of that. And we are, in fact, losing right there as well. Okay. So, I, I haven't been paying attention to the colonies, and so now we're having issues here. Attention. Just trying to finish up that defense, guys. So we'll just have to pop back over here soon. Uh, we'll take a look at the colony or the uh, convoys that we sunk. I'm hoping those are all troop convoys, and one right here as well. Four German convoys there, and there's something else. Is that German one as well? Nope. And apparently there's a bunch of them. <laughs> all right. Uh, so just about got it wrapped up, but yeah, they won't capitulate. We have Munich and everything. I mean, we'll take a look. These guys are now cut off. Um, yeah, we'll we'll take a look real quick and see. How things are looking on getting them capitulated. You know, I'm not gonna waste time. Let's let's get this done. Let's let's take this and then we'll look at how close they are to capitulating. Let's go and attack here as well. Trying to help out. And uh, that is a total of what is that? I can't really see, it's hard to see. Uh, three I can't see how many Austrian ones are there. I don't know, two maybe? So that's like five and eight divisions that we just cut off. All right, so we'll have to try and get Stetton back. Uh, we're going to have to... Yeah, we're just still losing territory. Still. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, man, they've been putting up a hell of a fight, man. It's just I wonder... Like, I like the challenge and everything. It just it, To me, it feels like perhaps that's not very well balanced, like the uh, what you have to do to get them to capitulate. Like, I mean... That's, that's ridiculous, man. Like, how much territory we have to take? I mean, Germany's lost. I mean, they lost here. There's They should capitulate. Uh, I mean, we have all of their key cities. They have nothing left but Eastern Prussia. They should not be in the war anymore. That doesn't make any sense, man. So try and get help them out here. Um, we also have to 
pay attention. That's right. I forgot we're losing territory here, guys. So we got a division here, but yeah. I think we're... I don't know how many divisions we had. I want to say we had nine, so I don't think we've lost anybody yet. But yeah, we're just barely holding on there, guys. And then this guy here is... Uh, yeah, they're still pushing into our territory. All right, so we might end up losing a bunch of territory there. Uh, we are actually winning here, which wasn't originally part of the plan. Uh, we could go ahead and keep it going, uh, but that's just another province we have to defend. I like that we have this river bonus. We're killing a lot of troops that way. The whole point was just to get the, the win there uh, with the defense. So yeah, here is just so bad, guys. Yeah, that's not great. I wasn't paying attention to it, so that's what happened. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to that shit, man. Uh, so let's make sure all these guys go over here, and we'll just Bobby. send, uh, looks like we already have one division going over there. All right, excellent. Bobby. All right, so these guys can just come on over to that front. And then anybody who's on this front will come on over to here. Red Army, and yeah, we'll let those guys finish that up. Though, he's not on the here. We'll make sure he gets on there. And the Blue Army doesn't need to cover all this, actually. We're trying to pull their asses back. All right, so they'll come over that way. Okay, so let's go and attack over here now. Now that we'll actually get the win, but the point this at this point is just to get these guys pushed back. Yeah, we have to defend there. Um, there is open territory here, but again, I don't really want to increase the size of the front anymore. It's just level one forts as well, and I'm not trying to get. I don't want Austria Hungary to get defeated, uh, which I'm worried about that invasion uh, before we're able to get that uh, that focus done. Uh, so we were able to. Finish up there. Could have probably tried to get Stetton back. Uh, let's just wait until we get more troops over here, though, guys. Send this guy over to here. That's the only place we're losing right now is in Dresden. Nope, we're losing right there as well. Spoke too soon. All right, and then we're also sending uh, Purple Army divisions over to here. And we might need to stretch out the Green Army some. I feel like they're pulling their weight here. All right, so we're going to stretch them out over there, because, uh, yeah, we just really have the Red Army right here. And then what we'll do is we'll pull the Purple Army all the way over to here. And then we'll be able to pull the Blue Army back. Still got to get those guys wiped out, though. Uh, so that's part of what's delaying this. I'll have these guys attack over here. All right, so this will be the front line. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the Red Army here. And go ahead and get these guys assigned uh, over here, where we're going to try and start pushing them back. Alright, so we're just going to get all those guys assigned now. And just let the purple army uh, finish that up. And then we'll probably start taking like, some red divisions and getting them uh, heading on over there. Uh, while well, the rest will help us out here. Alright, so we have six divisions currently assigned over there. And, damn it. All right, well, war support is high enough right now. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna sign on aggression pact with all these guys for now. Just trying to get these guys here wrapped up. It looks like we might have lost right there, perhaps. That's what it seems anyway. Yeah, having some problems here, man. Just trying to get this done. Attack, attack, attack. Get them, get them pushed back. All right, so, just want these provinces right here is what I'm thinking just getting this done and then we'll send the red army over there uh, this also gives us time to get our troops up on the front line as well kind of change up where they're at get all their movement done send more red army troops over here so we can attack try and get Stetton back and try and get these damn victory points because uh, uh, as of right now uh, they're, they're obviously not capitulating yet so alright so let's go ahead and do the attack we're going to have to attack across the river if we want to get these points I don't know if we can win across the river you know what It's this is fine this is how we're going to leave it. Uh, let's go ahead and take any Red Army troops that aren't, like, defending or absolutely needed where they're at. And go ahead and start moving them on over there. Just bringing those guys over there. And uh, some of these guys have to stay here simply because we don't have any uh, enough troops over here just yet. Enough Green Army troops. Hopefully they'll be able to cover this. We'll see. I'd love to take that, but we won't use the Red Army for that. We'll use the, uh, we'll just have the Green Army do it. Uh, might get pushed back here. Won't be any way, other way around that, though. We could get a win here, though, so we'll go ahead and do that. And you know what? Let me go ahead and... Uh, these guys will probably be pretty garbage attacking into the mountains here. We'll try. Uh, and these guys can move up over to this front now. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and pull back the Red Army now. All right. Almost got a million manpower right now. Uh, we still have massive equipment shortages, though. Uh, they're still really bad. And yeah, they just have so many divisions left over, guys. 
I'm just surprised. Uh, and as of right now, we are set to lose here. Let's see if we can't. I know we're attacked across the river, guys, but yeah, I really want to get that province taken back. Um, and what we might need to do is bring this guy over here. Because we're about to lose right there. Might be able to push him back there. And that'll kind of make uh, one less province that we have to defend. Though, of course, we have to get here, too, though. Uh, so we'll see if we can. We got a division coming over this way. All right, guys. So they're attacking us there. It's going to require us to launch another attack into Stettin. To help out on that defense. All right. These guys can move up over to here. And then we'll decrease this. Still waiting for more troops over this way. Before we pull them back just yet. Could attack cross here now. I don't actually want to win. Uh, main point here is just to kind of help out this, this attack. We don't want them attacking over there. And so he's coming over this way. We're going to bring another division over that way too. Alright, and that actually it would be, as of right now, a win. But I don't think it'll continue to be a win. And besides, it's probably good that we're behind the river for the defense, since I don't actually need to... Although that does help get them capitulated, because technically that's, that's German territory there. Uh, so yeah, these guys... Done enough to get us the win there. So that's what's important. Alright, so we got another division over this plane. Let's see if we can't move them out over here. So we'll sl slowly getting the Red Army over there. Uh, we can now pull the Blue Army back a bit more. In fact, we could probably pull them all the way back now. And then we're just going to con concentrate on pushing forward that way. Although, I would like to get this province here. So... We will have the blue army here then. But we can pull them off right there. Alright. So, almost there. Still trying to do that attack again, just trying to help out. Well, it looks like we finished that, so we can go and pull that back now. Uh, we did get Destruction 5. Let's go ahead and get Excavation. Alright, guys. I'm really trying to get Germany knocked out in this episode, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, let's just take a look and see where they're at. Soviet Union's currently 81%, uh, so still where they're at before. Germany's 94%. It's just ridiculous, man. I know that they just took Stettin from us, and that's five victory points, but yeah, that's that's ridiculous, man. There's not enough here uh, to really warrant this. I know these are core states, but man, that's just... You never had to conquer this much territory in previous patches, so it's just kind of strange. They, they require you to conquer so much territory now. Very strange. All right, so we got enough. Well, no, we don't. Oh, we have these guys here, so let's go put them over there. Just slowly getting the Red Army out of here, guys. Bringing them on over here. Help us out. Uh, we did take that province there. Excellent. Uh, let's go and take these guys and have them now move over to here. Up to 15 divisions there now. And still losing right there. Alright, so let's go and attack here. Try and help them out. Uh, these guys are... We got another tank coming over this way. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt an attack here. Yeah, just to try. Oops, I didn't want to attack all the way. Damn it. All right, well, whatever. It's fine. Bye. Send these guys in as well. All right, Bye. and then maybe take... Okay, so they're helping out there. We've got these guys coming back over here. So yeah, just having a lot of trouble trying to hold on to this, this territory. Bye. Just kind of help out on the defenses at the very least. Oh, yes. God damn China, man. I keep fucking forgetting the situation here. We have lost That's two fine. divisions already. Damn it. Um, but we could now... Well, we can't retreat because we don't have... This is common turn territory. So if we ask them for military access, we can retreat. Alright, so yeah, this did not go well, guys. <laughs> not well at all. We did lose all this territory as well to the common turn. Uh, so they should start getting supply now again. But yeah, that was just disastrous, man. Uh, we lost two divisions because of this. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate, guys. Uh, we are getting the supply back up. But they only have seven divisions there now, uh, but we only have seven, too, from, the, I think it was nine that we had, right? Yeah, that was such a bummer, man, me not paying attention to that situation there. It happens, though. It happens, guys. All right, so, yeah, now I'm regretting not pulling those back. Uh, we did see a ton of convoys coming across here, though. So, again, a lot of those are probably troop convoys as well, so it's pretty, uh, pretty major. So we finished up with the defense there. And it looks like we were able to hold that as well. However, we are now losing here. 
should be able to get that push back. That'll uh, you know keep this, the front the same size. Uh, we are actually losing here. Okay. Let me just see if uh, we can hold this without without the red army. I might need to bring the red army up over across here because we don't have the river bonuses there. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go and have the red army assigned to cover this. They're gonna pull back from here now. And then we'll want one, two, three, four divisions, uh, total maybe six, maybe six divisions. Assigned to that, currently we have seven. Um, let's take a look and see. That brings us down to five. There must be divisions that aren't really currently long. assigned somewhere. All right, um, so what we'll do, Bye. let's take these guys and then come on over here and then just take uh, some of these and have them Stay over here. All right, so he can stay here as well. All right, so that gets them to the six divisions that I want them to, and hopefully they'll help us defend that territory. All right, and they're gonna attack us across here. Probably not gonna go too well for them, I would assume. Yeah, I think they'll have issues. All right, so get more Red Army troops over here so we can start pushing forward into German territory, and uh, just need to get just need to get them here uh, so that we can get it done. Uh, but yeah, they cannot win on any of these attacks anymore, so that's good. So we're making progress, guys. Ever so slowly. Uh, Austria-Hungary does still seem to be losing land. Uh, we did get the armor there. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Use our experience as well. Might be able to get the win here now. Just pull back on... We'll just send the Red Army troops, actually. And maybe send uh, one of these guys to support. Keep on doing these attacks here while they're uh, attacking us and weakening themselves. Maybe we'll be able to push a few divisions back here and there. Not to see. Maybe. Probably not, though. Attention. No. Unfortunately, not. We did push some of them back, though. Alright. Let's push and pull them all back. We did win there. Uh, so now let's go ahead and attack over this way, because that would be a win as well. Alright, so slowly taking some territory here and there. And, um, we need to get more divisions up along this front. I don't think Spain would declare war on us, but again, as we get the Central Powers closer to being defeated, I'm always going to be worried that they're going to find themselves like they don't have as much to do. Let's go and put another one into there so we can get try and get some of this updated. Uh, but yeah, still really bad shortages, but we're picking it up, guys. It's getting better now. Yeah, we're getting better, especially with the support equipment, which was pretty bad there for a time. All right, so now we're just on the defense in a lot of these areas, just kind of let them exhaust themselves against us while we uh, focus on the offensive up here, uh, where we can actually get some of their victory points. All right, so we are losing here. Well, if we send another division, would that be a win? No, win it, so let's just pull it back. Continue Main thing was to help them with the defense. Uh, I don't know yeah, that Blue Army has a doesn't look like they do have an offensive, so let's go ahead and make sure they have one. All right, so Red Army's got one, Red Army's got one here. What about the Purple Army? Do they have one? I don't think so. Attention. So let's go ahead and make sure they have one. And uh, Green Army has one. Okay, so everybody's getting planning bonuses. Excellent. All right, guys, so, yeah, this is just ridiculous. They should they should be defeated um, as far as, like, the victory points go. Uh, I just don't understand it. They, they keep on making that worse. Like, it's every patch, it's a little bit worse than it was before. Attack them over here. Support. Well, attack these guys. That might be its own win. Just start pushing forward here. But yeah, I notice every every major patch, it gets harder and harder to get people to capitulate. You gotta conquer, like, more and more of their country. Uh, which is unfortunate, because it already takes pretty long as it is. But you guys saw how long it took with, to get the Soviets defeated, man. In the uh, Portuguese series, I mean, it just took forever. Light self-propelled artillery needs some. I'm having a lot of trouble getting the armor cars that we need for our, our garrisons. Uh, where's this? Light self-propelled self artillery. Jesus, if I can talk. Alright, so I don't think we'll be able to take Stettin. There's just too many troops there. Uh, but we should be able to push forward here and here as well. There's not enough troops to stop us advancing there, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, this is uh, probably going to be a loss, but what if we supported with these guys, or even sent some of them in? Yeah, this should be a win now. Alright, so green all the way across here, and we just need to advance into German territory at this point. 
Uh, we could try and get a win there as well, but it's across a river, so probably not going to go well. But we'll try it. We'll let that division leave. And let's uh, take a gander here. See if we can get across the river there. Uh, we can also move our planes. That's right. We are into, you know, areas where we don't need to be anymore. Uh, so we can actually send all of our planes on over to here. Probably send some more over there as well, because we're not winning there anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's take, uh, I think this should be enough here. And this is 600, so we don't want boom right here. All right, so that looks good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and take these guys, bring them on over here to help us with close air support there. And then these fighters that we have here, let's go ahead and move them right here. All right, so they'll cover that. And then we have a little bit, one more close air support wing. And I don't know if any more room there, but we'll take a look. And we'll see if we make sure we don't overstaff anything. Uh, so that should allow us to seize control of the air, hopefully. I don't know if we'll be able to get the Alpine region. But at the very least here, and that'll help us out quite a bit. Uh, should have did that a while ago. Uh, but we, we did have to finish up the area here, though, of course. So, All right, so we now modify our government. Let's go ahead and get switched over to War Economy. So if we had been getting a national focus at this time, uh, you know, we would have completed it, so I, I didn't need to stop doing it, but we wouldn't be able to get our war economy now, which is super helpful for getting, oh wow, we finished all those factories. Uh, we're doing a lot of repairing right now. Uh, but man, I just set up all those factories and dockyards to build and we completed them. Surprised. Okay, uh, we'll get like two more dockyards and then a bunch of military factories. In fact, let's just go and do the dockyards first. And then we're gonna do, actually, we'll do right there. And then we're gonna do a bunch of military factories. Uh, so let's go here. All these 70 and 80 percent. And we have so many uh, uh, factories. That's why we're able to build so damn quick. We have so many civilian factories right now. And these are 50 percent. So we'll do them in the 60s. All right, excellent. Uh, so that'll keep them busy for a long time and get those military factories up so we can solve the main issue we have, which is equipment. Equipment is still the problem right now. Let's attack over this way, attack over that way. Both of those are losses, but we're getting more troops over there. All right, so yeah, these guys are here now. Uh, winning there. So yeah, just slowly pushing into German territory, trying to get them knocked out of this goddamn conflict. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys go here, and these guys go here. All right, so those are both green now. All right, so we're gonna attack over this way. Slowly take all these damn victory points of theirs, man. Let's lock these guys down so we don't have to fight them over here, because you know they're gonna get over there. All right, so getting the, the Red Army troops over here, and looks like we're winning all the defenses at this point as well. I wasn't too sure how we'd do there, but yeah, it looks like we are actually winning. Uh, could attack here just to help out with those defenses. There we go, it looks like that was pretty easy. In fact, we might even be able to defeat them, and then that would be, I think, that's the same amount of provinces that we're defending, so it's not really that big of a deal. So yeah, let's go and get the win there. Push them back. And we're done here, so we can go and move these armies back now. And then, yeah, that looks good. Actually, let's go and have the blue army cover just a little bit more. All right, uh, so Green Army here is good. Uh, they're not attacking us, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. And they continue to attack up along here, but they're not able to defeat us. All right, so we did finish up here. We don't need that. those guys doing that anymore. Let's go and attack them this way. We're going to go ahead and send divisions off that way as well. All right, try and get these uh, easy wins here. And support this attack. I don't know if that's going to be a win. Sure doesn't look like it. All right, we also have the ability to attack over here. Again, we're losing there. But the point here is to lock these troops down as long as possible. Right. I don't know if we can get the win there. At the very least, stop this defense over here. All right, so these guys are so remarkably quick. Uh, but we are in position where they might cut us off here. All right, so we are winning there. Push forward here, or actually just support that. Stetton will now be cut off. Just gonna attack him there. Uh, they won't be cut off from supply, of course. They'll only be cut off from uh, being able to, to go back here, uh, retreat back here. Uh, so lend lease offer. Yeah, we'll take that from the Americans. They want to help us out. We'll accept that. 
We are winning there. Uh, our division's too weak to really help out here, unfortunately. Uh, really not trying to win here, so we might as well just pull this back. Uh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and actually pull the Red Army back so they can focus on areas where we actually want to advance. All right, so this might be enough. That's 10 victory points. That might be enough. We got up behind them like this. Hopefully that is enough. All right, let's go and send this division over here. And still trying to get those divisions in Stettin dealt with. Uh, and we have anti-royalist riot, riots in South Africa. Okay, we've got a bunch of dockyards that we seized. I don't know where we got those from, actually. Uh, did we all did we build a bunch of dockyards at the same time? I don't think so. All right, guys. So I, I guess just put in a. Oh, okay. We finished up a ship finally. All right, nice. We finished up our carriers. Excellent. Um, so let's go and take a look at our carriers. See if there's anything we want to change with the Josephines. Let me see if there is anything. Yes, there is. Uh, so what we're going to do is just make this the bees. B variant. And uh, we have dual purpose, so you don't have to change that. Uh, radars, we have better radars, so we can add those. I'm looking at engine, we know we don't have those. We can get the better anti air, and I think that's going to be it. Alright, so let's go and save that. And then we'll go ahead and get these building. Get ourselves another carrier model here. And we'll just have to pull a dockyard from here, I suppose. And place it back over there. And then we'll go ahead and get these guys uh, trained up. Alright, so we have the three submarines, which can go into the submarine fleet and then these guys will come over here we'll go ahead and get the uh the carriers trained up and all that good stuff uh let's put these level fours over here and we'll just take one of the level ones out that's what i've been doing just pulling the level ones out slowly adding them over there uh submarines if we have any done level twos oh we got level threes now awesome uh so yeah we'll want to go ahead and put these guys over here all right excellent so making uh very very good progress overall, but just still not enough to get them to capitulate. Let's take a look and see where they're at now. 98%. So close. Basically, you gotta take like every goddamn victory point. It's ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous that they do it that way. Uh, so we now have another military factory that we seized from the Germans. Uh, so I'm just gonna go up to 40 factories there for support equipment, since that's the main thing that we're lacking in order to build new units. And we could start building new units, but at this point I'm like, I just want to get this damn war done, man. Or at least, you know, get the uh, the Germans knocked out. Because, yeah, we're about done with the episode, guys. And I still haven't won yet, which is so unfortunate, because I thought we'd have it have it done at this point. Can we get the win here? We cannot. All right. Uh, oh, they're about to attack. They're about to cut us off here. All right, so we do need to try and get the win. We'll attempt to. Just until we, until we get more troops over here. And we're, now we've got war support even higher. Awesome. All right, so... We might be able to get those troops in set and destroyed, but yeah, we haven't been able to get the win here just yet. We're waiting for one more division to get over there. Yeah, we'll just have to see. We can finish up the defense. Yeah, that's not going to work, though. We'll have to go this way. Alright, so this guy can go straight ahead and attack over that way. Alright, so about to get Stetton back in our hands. Uh, let's go and attack over here. All these troops here are about to be cut off in near moments. And, uh... Let's go ahead and att attempt an attack there now. I'm trying to get all these troops up along this line here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the purple army over this way. Uh, they can cover a bit more. I am a little bit worried that they're going to be overstretched. We'll see. Will that allow us to pull the blue army back if they get over here? Since uh, I know the blue army is overstretched. Uh, that would not be a win. Okay. And that would not be a win either, so just go and pull it back. We did win there, though. All right, so let's send another division over here. Okay, so that's not where. There we go. We did it, guys. Oh, good God, that took forever. That was a tough fight, man. Tell me, tell me that wasn't the the hardest fight you've ever seen Germany put up, and they've they've put up some challenging fights that's before, guys. Uh, we have had many, many times where oh. Germany just did not want to give up. But before I let this play, we got to get this focus going. All right, so let's get the focus now, guys. Uh, we need to get this done before they capitulate. Uh, or we won't be able to create a faction. Look at all these things that are going to be happening. Yeah, this would be kind of cool. We're going to have like a Prussia, Kingdom of Prussia. Oh man, all kinds of cool shit going to happen there. Alright, let's go and get these guys destroyed here. Also, we might want to have these guys go this way and then go over here. Get them attacking. Them attacking over that way. Let's attack across the river there. 
All right, so wiping that out there. Now we don't want Austria-Hungary to capitulate. So we have to like figure out a way to keep these motherfuckers in the damn fight. <laughs> so we won't be attacking them or anything. I don't want them to, uh, to lose any more territory. All right, so we might need to stretch out some of these fronts here. So the Red Army, let me see, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. All right, so the Blue Army is gonna need to help cover all this. Oh, we're at war with uh, Poland as well, aren't we? So we're about to lose all that territory, but again, they'll remain capitulated, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, this does require us to probably make a lot of changes here. The Blue Army is gonna have to come up over this way to defend all this territory, and then we're gonna have to pull the Blue Army back and then give the Purple Army, like, more of an objective here. All right, so that looks good. And then we'll just put, uh, that should hopefully be uh, enough, uh, being pulled back enough for them to cover all that. We'll just have to see. I'll we'll probably lose a little bit of territory. There's really no way around that. Uh, but the Green Army can cover up a bit more as well. And then the Red Army, we're gonna place them. Uh, we're probably gonna try and get them rocking in over here, a lot of these guys. Uh, get them coming over here as soon as they can. Attention. Let me just see here. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Have some of the Red Army cover this. Just get rid of this line here. I could have stretched that out, but I didn't see it. Uh, and then we're gonna take like a bunch of these guys. And get them assigned over to, well, actually, all these guys here. We'll be assigned over to this front. Help us out over there. All right, uh, so that'll be good for now, but we are gonna go ahead and take some of these. He's clearly not gonna win that, so let's just have him retreat. All right, so that looks good. Slowly start moving troops on over there. Still gotta get these uh, rest of these divisions wiped out though, so gotta have these guys help out. And hopefully they can get that done. They are cut off from supply. Uh, as far as the, the air war, um, We'll keep the fight going here until we finish this up and then we'll move it into Czechoslovakia and into Poland and stuff. All right, uh, we can go and take Polish territory, might as well. <laughs> if we're if we're here, there's nobody here defending this. I don't see any reason not to take it over real quick. They weren't prepared for this, for the, for the Germans uh, to capitulate, were they? All right, so we got 10 divisions up over there. And uh, we'll need more. Probably, yeah, more than likely. We'll have to see, we'll see how the fronts end up looking, guys. Yeah, they can take advantage of this opportunity to push forward if they so desire. Hopefully they don't. All right, uh, so yeah, all of the troops are moving over to their territory here. This guy's gonna stay here, because he's already here. So push forward there. So we're just gonna grab that territory there. I don't see any reason not to try and get Poland uh, to capitulate as soon as we can. Uh, and we are gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Uh, so let me just double check on, we'll go ahead and take a look at all these convoys. Uh, we'll, we'll do the dockyards and the, the factories next episode. Oh, God damn it, China. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that fucking front, man. Ugh, good God. All right, well, we're here and we have supply, so that's what matters. Uh, but we did lose our territory that we had. Um, well, which province was it? Was this one? Yeah, it's this one, uh, because it's communists that took it over, so they take it from us. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Um, let's go back over here and protect this. Uh, but we're still here, and we have more divisions. Good God. <laughs> oh, it's been so difficult, man. Here, though, we've killed a ton of, of Brazilians and just uh, whoever else has been attacking us there. And we have decision available. What's this? Oh, recruiting the German Empire. So we're not interested in this. So we'll say real quick, don't show me this. And then uh, this is where we're going to go and end the episode, guys. So the Germans have finally capitulated. Uh, we are, uh, what is this? What's it, like 58 days? Yeah, we're 58 days from getting that. I thought it saved 15 days. Maybe it only saves 10. Uh, but yeah, I thought it saved 15, but clearly not. All right, so that's interesting. So uh, we do have uh, the um, decryption bonus here on these guys. We'll make use of this when we're ready to invade Austria-Hungary. Right now, we don't want to invade. We don't want them to capitulate. Uh, so we have to keep the fight going. We'll just stay on the defense, try and get our front line here. We will try and beat Poland, though. Let me just see if there's anybody else we have to defeat uh, other than Austria-Hungary. Not right now. As of right now, we're good. Uh, the Germans have taken 3.96 million casualties. We did 2.8 million of that, so the majority of it. Uh, we currently have, I guess we'll, we'll scroll down and look. Uh, the Soviets have 21%. 
of the war participation, 3% for the Iberian Socialist Union, 7% for the British, and 49%. We've got almost 50% of the total uh, war participation, with Italy having 3%. Uh, so we took 690,000 casualties, 537 of that to the Germans. Good God. Yeah, man, we've taken such high casualties in this conflict, guys. It's been, uh, it's been really bad. Uh, looking at, uh, I mean, you can easily see that we've done pretty damn well, though. Uh, as far as against the uh, Hungarians, we've taken 97,000 casualties from them, and we've killed 1 million. Uh, so <laughs> we're doing so good against Austria-Hungary. They can't even compete with us. Yeah, they have, like, no ability to compete with us. Uh, we killed 21,000 Poles. I imagine that number is going to get much higher. And uh, the Soviets are about to get relieved uh, because we're going to be invading uh, the Central Powers from behind now, and they are not prepared for that, not at all. They're in a very bad position. All right, so this is the, this is the total casualties, guys. Just kind of show you how things are looking here uh, as of right now. So, so overall, um, we, we've done pretty well, but man, we still took extremely high casualties in that in that overall conflict. Uh, they are taking territory back for the Germans, so we're gonna have to come and take this back uh, and attack them. All. Remember, we're at war with all of these guys here, so we got to get troops all up on the front. I might make some adjustments to the to the front line because I feel like the Green Army is probably not doing enough here. While the purple army is kind of like tasked to quite a bit, uh, as is the blue army. So the the green army is the the smaller one, uh, but the, the it's only slightly smaller than the green one. So we will need to make some adjustments there. Maybe get these damn divisions out as well. Uh, Going to get them at least get them up to regular uh, experience, you know, training in a little army, Attention. and then send them on over here. Uh, we have this guy, but I think we're gonna keep him in Africa. Attention. Yeah, we'll just keep him in Africa, I suppose. Uh, so we have that division. Uh, as far as other divisions elsewhere, I mean, the, the, these guys are not great. Uh, I'm just going to go and get them to do a little bit of training here. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the episode. Germans are finally capitulated. Uh, so now we're going to work on getting this focus, which will allow us to create our own faction and also end up uh, separating Germany. It's going to just... It even deals with places like Czechoslovakia and stuff. So uh, it's a huge focus. If I just, I'll just hold over this so you guys can like pause it and read it if you so desire so you can see exactly what's happening. Uh, but yeah, you'll see we have like the Grand Duchy of uh, Mecklenburg. We've got the Kingdom of uh, Bavaria. But essentially we're creating... Like, what the Holy Roman Empire was, essentially. Well, I mean, we're not. We're creating what it was after uh, you know, Napoleon got rid of the Holy Roman Empire. Because remember, he disbanded the HRE. And so, essentially, we're creating the Confederation of the Rhine. Uh, so, that should be really interesting to see how it looks. I'm excited for that to get completed. So, remember, we have to get that done. And then we can invade Austria-Hungary and get the Central Powers defeated and then start building up for the conflict against the Central, or excuse me, against the Common Turn. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I did notice we have air experience, so we need to spend that. Uh, so we'll do that next episode as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.